Zamora Game fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and if I sound different, that's because I do. <laughs> uh, I am. I just bought a mixer, so if it's too loud, not loud enough, uh, interfering with the background music too much, just let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to adjust what I need to do. But for now, uh, if you remember last time we streamed this, uh, we made it this far, and um, there was some issues with the recording. Well, not the recording itself, but the game. It seemed to have uh, completely reset itself, so I had to redo everything all over again. So that's why it took me so long to get back to the game. But we are here. And um, we we pretty much caught everything exactly the same. Um, we, well, I did it on purpose. I made sure we got everything exactly the same. But I did level up a little bit. So we do have our first gym badge. We have everything ready to go. We just finished with the... Uh... Hey, Sailor Stitch, welcome. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Um, So everything's caught up there in that aspect. So we should be good to go. Uh, Now we just need to go ahead and continue with our journey here. And do some battles. Get a little bit more... Um. Get a little bit more EXP on our Pokemon and try to get to the next gym badge as, as fast as possible, really. So here we go. How's everyone doing? I am just getting back from a little vacation with the wife. We had our anniversary. So we decided to do some stuff there. Go go fishing and get out of get out of town for a little bit. So we've been having a pretty good time. Especially me. I enjoyed it very much. She liked it. I'm sure she enjoyed it just as much. But everything is... Everything was good. We caught a few fish. I caught catfish. We didn't cook anything, though. Uh, the only thing we did cook was uh, meat we bought at the local market. And I barbecued it. But other than that, it was... I mean, it was really chill. It was three days of just doing nothing. Uh, no games, pretty much no phone due to the cell signal. I mean, we watched a show or two, so but it, so it was nice and fun. Is is a little different. It's a nice getaway. So I don't know. That's I like I like to do those kind of things. But uh, here we have a Lotad and Zigzagoon trying to disrupt our team. And like I said, we did grind up a little bit, so we're a little bit high level for this battle. But I don't feel like that's going to be too big of an issue. And um, how is the background music for you guys? Is it too low? Is it too... Uh, I, I don't see it as being high. So, I just want to get some feedback from y'all. Try to make this stream as pleasant sounding as possible for y'all. But um, uh, I mainly got the mixer um, for my podcast because uh, I don't know. I, I've been listening to the podcast on Spotify and um, yeah, they don't sound great. Mostly on my end, like everyone else, you can hear perfectly. And then uh, I guess me with the mic I have, it's pretty cheap. So my cousin told me uh, that I should get a mixer. Try to make it sound better. So. I finally took his advice. Because that was like months ago. So I got it. It sounds great. At least from what I can tell from the recordings. I don't have to be like right up on the mic anymore. So. Everything I think. I don't know. I think it's going to improve the videos much more. Now that we have a, a more comfort level on both ends. Especially in the comfort that y'all can actually hear what I'm saying all the time, really. As long as I'm talking directly into the mic. Because, like, uh, it should run off here where you can't hear me. Because I can't hear me. So, there we go. <laughs> all good and ready to go. Just like this Zigzagoon, ready to just get murdered. Oh, Natsu is evolving here.
And there we go. We get our Charmeleon up on the screen. Natsu has a fire in his belly because he is evolved already. And we're going to go ahead and get this potion and be on our merry way. And uh, I did go through this part by accident. And I did battle that one guy. So that one's not going to be a double battle. But other than that, uh, we pretty much everything's still brand new. And uh, I did teach Ziggy Cut after that first battle. And uh, let's go look for some items now. We already did the uh, we already did the thing. Um, I kind of had to do it. So basically, after the whole Mr. Briny thing, you go in here, you talk to the president of the company. They give you a pokey nav, and um, yeah, and then you come out here, you test it out. He's like, "Oh, cool, it works," and it's like, "I, I would think so." You're the president of the company. I would hope it works. But uh, it is what it is. And uh, now we got to do him some favors as we try to get our next few badges here. But first, May wants to battle. And as you can remember, she's going to have a Charmander on her team because of the error I made. And I forgot I nicknamed this T Swift or T Swizzy or Team T something. It was a it was a Taylor Swift reference, but I just named it Speed the second time around because I couldn't find the part in the recording where I nicknamed it right off the bat. So Speed is its name for now, and I'm sure I'll 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 fix it back. But here we go, Charmander is growling us here. We're trying to get this wing attack off. We take a big ember there. And I don't want to risk uh, wing attack not taking it out. So we're going to go to Natsu here and we're going to go ahead and take it out with that. So scratch off a Charmander and down it goes. No problem. Speed gets to level 15, which is amazing because we're going to need him for that next gym. All right. Uh, dudes, I'm starting a Nuzlocke in AS Alpha Sapphire, I'm assuming. My first time attempting that in game. Dude, it's real fun, especially in Emerald. I feel um the level the level raises are real fair. So um, I, I feel like you're gonna have a good time with it. You picked a good good game to to play uh, Nuzlocke in to start off with, and uh, nothing much, man. I'm doing good. I'm chilling. I knew I was gonna stream tonight. I didn't know what. Um, it was planned to. It was planned that we we're gonna start our. What do you call it? We're planning on starting our Dungeons and Dragons Pokemon thing. So expect that in the near future. I think it's going to be a weekly thing, kind of like what I do with uh, with David. So we'll see about that. We'll also see where we're at with David. I appreciate the support, man. It, it honestly means a lot to me. And uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm getting distracted by Pico here. Um, yeah, David, here we go. So as you have, if y'all been watching, me and David have been doing some uh, Pokemon playthroughs together that haven't ended all too well. So uh, we think we're going to go a different direction and uh, see how, how we can get a playthrough going again, uh, but in a different format than a Soul Link because... He he does not like to keep Pokemon alive <laughs> at all. But uh, Sailor Stitch, uh, what the hell is D and D and Pokemon? What do you mean? Oh, Sailor Stitch. Uh, yeah, now I remember. Edward, Eddie. That was a fun battle too. And uh, Pokemon D and D, 
is uh it's actually a real thing you can google it it's uh just just google pokemon D D E uh 5e excuse me uh, so basically it's based off it's a pokemon dungeons and dragons based off the fifth edition i'm assuming and um, so basically what that is, is uh, each region has their own race, basically. So you can choose between Cantonian, Jotoian, all that stuff. And uh, the way uh, our dungeon master is doing it, uh, Joe Sylvester, he's the Joey Llama. Check him out here on Twitch. Uh, he has it to where... Um, we are still Pokemon trainers in a sense, but it's more, it's more, I'm not going to say medieval-like, but I guess medieval is the only way to say it. It's like old-timey, back before, you know, things were actually things. Like he said, even before Pokeballs, so we'd have to develop a bond with our Pokemon. Kind of like Conquest, I guess. So he's, he's pulling... Uh, he's pulling ideas from all these different things. And I think uh, the storyline he's going to create is pretty cool. I still haven't come up with the full backstory to my character yet. <clears throat> but uh, I think I'm going to go with... Uh, well, I already have my character made. I just don't have my background made for it. But it's going to be interesting for sure, to say the least. Um, I already chose the Pokemon I'm going to use. I mean, if anyone knows me, they I think they know which Pokemon I'm going to start with. But if you don't, stay tuned for whenever we do that. Uh, I believe next Thursday. Uh, Thursdays are the day we're supposed to. But um, one of us wasn't able to join this week because uh, they had to go out of town. So, you know, it is what it is. Life comes first. And uh, we'll, we'll start it eventually. But uh, that's going to be a very interesting take. And then uh, with David, like I said, I don't know if we'll be starting up Soul Link anytime soon. But uh, we are definitely going to start something. I don't know if it's tomorrow or maybe next week. But we're definitely going to be starting something here soon. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun experience for everybody who uh, choose to stop by and enjoy with us. And like I said, I really hope uh, the mixer adds to the quality of the videos. Because um, I just hope it does. I mean, I, I know my volume isn't the best all the time. And uh, this now I don't have to be screaming into the mic for y'all to hear me. Or like, like I said, be right up on it, breathing all over it. <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna be a certain interesting take now and uh we got to get to steven to give him his item i already got that item there you know what i think we're gonna beat the gym first because uh oh you know what we can actually get encounters first let's do that do i have pokeballs <laughs> i should make sure i have that first All right, we have some Pokeballs. I think I can manage with uh, six. All right, so let's go ahead and get our um, fishing rod out. And try to catch some good Pokemon here. Register that. And this is our Duper encounter. Oh, we got a bite. And, of course, it's the Mighty Magikarp, and we're going to definitely add that thing to the team. I don't mind that we'll have two uh, flying Pokemon, uh, or three. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, we'll think about adding this one. Because, I mean, there's plenty of better Pokemon out here as well. well. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball to see if we even catch it first. And I need nicknames for the Magikarp. Because we're definitely catching this. All 
I hope. <laughs> Might have to turn it to filet fish over here. All right, ignore that link. I don't know who that is, but they shouldn't be promoting links. Uh, I don't know what how to do that. Uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. But hopefully that deletes the comment because I don't want that stuff being on my stream. But nevertheless, Nemo is a really good nickname. So let's go ahead and catch this thing. I, if I'm correct, I had it as Nemo in my first playthrough. So that's actually real fitting. If if it if it is that. I don't know if this magic card has tackle either, or else I'd send out a uh, send out the other one to try to get some damage off on it. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's go, Ziggy. I don't think a tackle is gonna hit hurt me either way. Nah, he don't have it. All right, and to not risk a crit, let's go ahead and throw the pokeball now, and let's get Nemo on our squad. I kind of want to use Tentacruel this time around. I always, I always seem to use a Magikarp in Nuzlocke. I mean, you always get one free. All right, so we're going to get Nemo here. And Nemo is added to the party. Let's see Route 7. Can we catch a Tentacruel now? I think you only get uh, Magikarp with the old route, though. So I'm not too sure, but we're about to find out. Nope, that's another magic card. Let's try it one more time. Either way, I think we get Surf real soon in the game. I think, uh, oh no, we don't. But it's okay. Two magic cards, uh, just dupe claws. We, we'll wait to get something there. But let's go ahead and see what we get in the cave. And we're going to be counting the cave as two separate encounters. So there's this light part and then the dark part. So those will be two different encounters. Sorry, the two different encounters. And the first up is Makuhita. Which is a great addition to the team if we can catch it. Let's go ahead and do a little quick attack here. I don't think it'll knock it out. Oh, and it doesn't. So beautiful. Now let's get some uh, nicknames in the chat for that. Makuhita. I, uh, I think I normally nickname him Rakishi. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Rocky, look up Rakishi. He's an old uh, WWF wrestler. He used to sit on people's faces. and It was disgusting, but it makes the most sense. I'll give it a minute, let everyone put in the comments, see if we can get a nickname for this thing. Or I'll go with the traditional one. All right, no nicknames, Rakishi it is. Rakishi, I don't know if I'm spelling it right either, but <laughs> that's what it is. So we get our encounter on the out on the light side. Now let's go ahead and get our encounter on the dark side. I don't want to sable eye. Um, I remember one of my first playthroughs, I used the Sableye through the whole game. Busted. Ooh, 
But Aaron is not bad either. I love me and Aaron, and we're gonna go ahead and catch this thing. Nicknames in the chat. And let's go ahead and get this thing on the squad. All right, that should be enough. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, Pokeball. You know what? Let's go Great Ball here. They do have a higher catch rate. So let's go ahead and get this Great Ball on Aaron. And it's caught. Beautiful. Definitely adding that straight to the team. And uh, I don't see no nicknames in the chat, so we're just going to go ahead and go with Iron Man here. Oh, wait. We can't go Iron Man. We're going to call her Pepper. There we go. Pepper. Pepper Potts. Iron Man's girlfriend. Wife. Whatever. Something. Something to him. So now we're going to go ahead and continue on through the cave here. Oh, that almost looks shiny for a second. Let's go ahead and put sticks up front because I don't have healing items, I don't think. And uh, we're going to make our way all the way up. I don't know if y'all can hear the game sound. Shouldn't be able to, though. Let me know if you can hear the game sound, actual. the Like, the in-game game sound. Interesting. But we finally made our way to um, to Stephen here, and we're gonna hand him his letter and be on our way. And we get the TM forty-seven for Steel Wing. So, all right, Stephen, you had a lot to say, but nothing useful for us. We're gonna go ahead and make our way back out of this cave. And let's go ahead and do something. <laughs> All right. We did that part. Let's go ahead and get our second gym badge. And to get our second gym badge, we need to battle a bunch of people in the gym. So we can actually see. Wing attack goes down there. And um, if we hit level 20, I believe he evolves. But I don't think we'll hit level 20. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for the absorb there. And down goes those two, no problem. Now let's go ahead and find the next person to beat up. And detect is such an annoying move, but you know, people do what they got to do. <clears throat> I mean, I get using a move for strategy, but if you know you're just going to get knocked out anyway, just let it happen. Don't waste my PP and my time, please. Thank you very much. But Brawly time, let's do it. So here we go. Brawly sends out my chop. Let's go ahead and get this wing attack here. Ooh, almost one shots him. But Karate Top's going to come off into us and do almost half. Let's go ahead and go for another wing attack here. We connect, knock that thing out. Machop goes down. 
Um, uh, I'm not speed running it. I just have speed up to get past those little quick battles. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm not speed running it. I'm just playing the game. Oh, well, I'm nuzlocking it, but, you know. I don't want to waste too much time on side battles either. And, um, I have a... I downloaded this thing to do, uh, randomizers. Uh, you should be able to find it on Google real easy. Just look up, uh, randomizing tool Pokemon. And, uh, I'm not gonna say which link to click because I don't know for sure. But, um, it's not hard. Uh, basically, once you download everything, it's gonna tell you, uh, what file. Okay, don't. Don't arm thrust us to oblivion here, please. So basically, it's just going to be like, what file do you want? Critical hit! Oh, baby. Sorry if I got loud there. Critical hit, though, takes down the Makuhita, and we beat the gym badge. No problem. And speed. I am speed. Gets to level 19 and tries to learn double team. You know what? We're going to go ahead and try to teach it that instead of growl, because I think that'll be more of a use for us. But, um, yeah, I'm not speed running. I'm just, uh, I just, I just like to speed up through the side battles and stuff. And then, uh, what else was I saying? Oh, yeah, the randomizer stuff. Whoop. Oh, I can see. Go receive the knuckle badge. From Brawly. The Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, and those who get it in trades, obey without question. And you'll be able to use the HM Move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this technical machine too. TM08, and I guess what that could be for. Signature Move, bulk up. So, that's the gym. That's the second gym, and that's how easy it can be if you get a Swallow or Tello. Especially if you have a swallow, because that means you are over leveled AF. But, um, yeah, the randomizer thing, you just run it, and then uh, it'll tell you uh, what game do you want to use. Excuse me. And, um, I think uh, if you, um, get a specific game, like uh, Emerald and Fire Red, it'll work no problem. But if you try to get ROM hacks and stuff, I don't think it works as good because the the randomizer is not made for that. Because uh, it's not a traditional Pokemon game and the coding might be weird and you can corrupt the file and it just won't work, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it there. But, uh, if you just use the regular in-game thing, it's, it'll work fine, no problem. And uh, that you can uh, change starters, you can choose when they evolve. Like, um, I made it to where no matter what the Pokemon natural level up thing is, um, they evolve by level 40. If they have three, a three stage evolution, like for example, Aggron doesn't evolve to level 45 and, um, doesn't evolve, uh, into Laron to like 30 something, like 32 or 34 or something like that. Um, they're automatically going to be evolved at level 30 to the second stage and level 40 for final stage. So for sure, by the end of the game, any Pokemon we use will be fully evolved uh, trade wise or anything else. So it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to keep taking these items here because once we put Ziggy in the box, uh, we're not going to have that anymore. And uh, let's go ahead and start leveling up Rakishi for sure because we do want Rakishi on the team. And uh, we need to give some other Pokemon some time to shine. Alright, level 12 there. You're 19, so I'm not going to... Oh yeah, I'm going to have to. Don't kill yourself, please. There we go. Go ahead and go to Rakishi. And I guess we'll just go to speed here. Okay, Rakishi's level 9. Um, we'll come back to the battles. Oh, man. That's not what I wanted. 
this could be bad. So Rakishi's gonna go ahead and tackle the Azuro because it's normal type. And we'll go ahead and absorb the tentacle. Hopefully it's not liquid ooze. And it's not. So that's cool. Rakishi's just gonna be here being annoying because he's missing. Um, let's go ahead and just go for the quick attack. So both of our Pokemon are confused now, which is fantastic. And we'll go ahead and go to speed here because the speed can take a hit and it can knock anything out. And that's the real threat because it keeps uh, confusing us. And finally, we get Arm Thrust. So now we can take out that Azuro as we take out the Tentacle. And Arm Thrust again. I'm just going to double team. Let uh, Rakishi get the kill here. And finally, we're done with that. Rakishi good, does get to level 11, though. So that's great. We did get some level up there. Uh, he's telling us about some stuff. All right. So now we can get a Slate Port Encounter. And a Route 109 encounter, but I'm gonna wait till we actually have a decent, uh, what do you call it? Pokemon rod before we do that. So let's go ahead and get a heal up here and uh, activate the story so we can start battling some Team Rocket grunts. Alright, so talk to this bald guy here and it'll initiate the contact. Initiate the story for Captain Stern. And then we can move on back to the museum tower. But I actually kind of want to level up my uh, uh, Makahita now. So I can take on... Uh, I can take on the... Uh, what do you call it? The ev evil organization with a different mon than last time. Especially since they have a bunch of dark types. And arm thrust. Look at that beautiful animation. Ooh, Zigzagoon you surf. That's a special Zigzagoon. Alright, now it goes sand attack, even though it didn't need to, because we missed the last turn. And arm thrust should finish off the Zigzagoon here. We'll go ahead and give it a potion right after the battle. And uh, move on to the next battle. Oh, not a super potion. We don't want to waste those. Um, let's go ahead and give it a regular potion. Uh, Silk Scarf can go to Halo Swift for now. And, oh man, Roxanne. Roxanne! Yeah, you put on the red light. Roxanne. All right. Uh, we battled him already. We battled. Oh, no. We didn't battle these two yet. All right. We're going to arm thrust the Meryl. And we're going to quick attack the Wingle. Oh, nope. <laughs> Don't want to arm thrust the Wingle. That's not going to do anything. But uh, quick attack should. And that takes it down. Rakishi's at level 12. Arm Thrust goes off five times, but still doesn't take down this Meryl. This Meryl fat. Takes on um, the Quick Attack, no problem. But luckily, Arm Thrust did enough to go ahead and take that thing out now. So I think we defeated everyone possible out here. Okay, Soft Sand. That's going to help us later with our ground type moves. And uh, we still got a few more battles in here. So let's go ahead and take on those with Rakishi. Alright, Mero comes in. And like I say, he's a fat boy. That was four hits and still didn't take it out. Two crits though. That does enough. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and fit Vital Throw on this thing here. It does make us go last, but we're super slow. So we're going to go last normally anyway. All right, Rakishi learned Vital Throw, and now we have an even stronger fighting type move to take people on. 
<laughs> I play Pokemon better than singing. I would hope so. I'm a Pokemon channel, not a singing channel. Uh, fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon. You say that, Edward, but people tell me I have what it takes to sing on America's Got Talent. I know they're lying, but it's a good sentiment. All right, Rakishi here is going to go ahead and go for the vital throw against this Goldeen. She's tail whipping her tail back and forth. And Vital Throw is gonna throw it out of the throw it out of the arena. Or what if if there was a No it doesn't. What am I thinking? That's that circle throw. Oh well. Y'all know what I was trying to go with here. But Vital Throw is gonna take it down this time. And Goldeen is no longer a problem. And we get to level 14. It looks like we're gaining EXP like crazy here. Our Pokemon are kinda high level. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. I don't know. She was kind of smoking over there, so. Let's see. Blech. Nope. No, sir. No, thank you. And then you have, and then you lead with a wingle. Come on, man. It's not cute. It's not hot. It's not happening. Ooh, even worse. You go for supersonic first? Get out of my sight. Uh, one more tackle should do it unless this growl ruins my attack here. Crit. Oh, no. Yep, ruined it. But he's just growling now. So much for that supersonic. He was like, it missed. Throw that strategy out here. And then uh, Rakishi takes that thing down. But we're going to have to switch here due to our attack being much lower. So now we're going to go ahead and go for Natsu. He's our sec he's our next lowest Pokemon that's actually on the team for now. Well, not too staying on the team, no doubt about it. But you know what I mean? Like uh we're not using Magikarp. I wanna try to use a different water type. And trust me, in this game there's water types galore. You can get pretty much all the water types by the end of your Nuzlocke. Just due to dupe claws alone. All right, Natsu is at level 17. Slowly but surely grinding them levels. And I didn't mean to stay in there, but we're here now. Tentacle is in. Let's go ahead and try to make this swift and knock this thing out. Ooh, the scratch ain't going to do it. And Supersonic comes off. Is Natsu smart enough not to hit himself in confusion? <gasps> yes, he is. He's smart boy. Not to the smart boy goes ahead and knocks out that thing with Scratch. And we defeat everyone here. And we can get our Sody Pops. Sody Pops. They must be from the north. Well, I want some Soda Pops. I'll take my Soda Pops. But either way. We can go ahead and come around here actually. And get another encounter before we continue with any story. So let's go ahead and catch a plusle. Or oh, mining. I'm stupid. I even looked at the negative sign on its cheeks and I still said plusle. But let's just go ahead and go for a tackle as it goes for a thunder wave on us. And this Electric Mouse is a very good early game Pokemon, so I am not mad about this. Of course, who wouldn't want a Magnectric or something, right? But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and catch the Minin. And uh, nicknames in the chat for those who want to help nickname this thing. Let's go ahead and catch it in a Pokeball. All right, mining is caught. It is a boy. Let's see what nicknames we can get for it. Yeah, 
At a meeting of Pokemon Academics, it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from Plusle and Minin will promote circulation and boost vitality. Yeah, because it's going to jumpstart your heart. Um, Give Minin a nickname. Oh, wait, that's a song. Uh, Spider, welcome to the stream. And we are going to go ahead and nickname it Win. I'm assuming that's why you said Win. So let's go ahead and put Win as the nickname here. And Win we shall. With with minus with mining on our side, how can we not? All right, let's go ahead and put Pokémon on our team that belong on our team before we officially start continue with the story. And we'll put Pokémon that not going to be on our team in the box. All right, so as of right now, ooh, great ball. Yeah, I'll get it later. Like right now, later. <laughs> Bag it, tag it. Uh, yeah. I don't think we have any deaths yet, so that's good. Um, so that's our PC mons, and we're gonna go ahead and use this team so far. I'm liking this. Not incredibly balanced, but it's good mons nonetheless and we got adamant nature rakishi that couldn't be better and we got guts ability for it so even best hoenn is the best region uh yeah i i it's 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 my top one uh i think it'd be like top four for me uh, probably definitely top three it's probably second or third on my list uh, Unova is like number one for me. Um, dang it, what was I saying? Granite Cave, Adamant, Adamant Nature is great. Okay, uh, uh, Arm Thrust for moves, Focus Energy, Vital Throw, and Tackle. But yeah, uh, Gen 5 is one of my favorite gens, not even because just the game. Uh, I get, well, it is the game. But not even because of, what do you call it, the Pokemon in it. It's just mainly storyline and lore and all that stuff. That's what gets me in that game. It's just so well put together story-wise that, you know, I can deal with the I can deal with the stuff. And it's cool to explore uh, Unova as well with all the undergrounds and stuff. It's just, it's just a really good game. The graphics could have been better, but, you know, it's Pokemon. And, um... So our second team member will be Styx, Grovile, with Quick Attack, Fury Cutter, Absorb, and Pursuit, with Lax Nature, which is neutral, I believe. Then we have Careful Nature. Um, I do believe that Special Defense minus Attack. Oh, yeah, Gen 5. I cannot wait for that game. Three more regions. Um, and we named it Pepper because it's a female Iron Man, of course. And then uh, it's running uh, Tackle, Harden, Mud Slap, and Headbutt for now. And then uh, next we have Natsu, the Charmeleon, because he has a fire in his belly. Because he's adamant about it. Whoa, did his nature change? I could have swore it was lax before. But I ain't mad about it. I'll take adamant. Run a belly drum set. We'll go ahead and uh, run it with uh, Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Smoke Screen for now. Then we have Wind the Mining. With Growl, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, and Helping Hand. With Hasty Nature, probably the best nature could have gotten. Uh, minus Defense, plus Speed. Uh, we're not trying to get take attacks. We're trying to give them. And, uh, you know, minus Ability. When, oh, I think it's the only thing you can get. And then we have another Adamant Pokemon here. Oh, I'm loving this. I love Physical Attackers. We have Guts, Adamant, Speed, Tailo. Uh, do they have flame orb in this game? Because <laughs> I need to find it if it does. Uh, a silk scarf, of course. With uh, wing attack, double team, focus, energy, and quick attack. So that's our team so far right now. I think it's great. And we're going to go ahead and run with it. I probably, yeah, I'm going to heal. So let's go ahead and get in here. 
and get our ass in gear. And uh, we got to pay the fee. And then you hear that some one of these guys say, we didn't even have to pay the fee. It's like, man, that's fucking ass. Why? I'm the hero and I got to pay the fee, but y'all don't. There's like eight of y'all in here. That could have been a killing for these people. Charging at $10 a head. But it is what it is. And we are here with the professor. Captain or captain, yeah. He looks like a professor, just like a nerd. Um, yes, if you were looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. Yeah, and then he doesn't do it till like the very end of the game. <laughs> Hold it. We'll take those parts. Wh what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. Grr. So now we gotta fight pirates. And no, I don't think they are of the Caribbean. But they sent out a Carvana, which is based off of Piranha. And Rakishi's gonna arm thrust it to hell. Focus energy. Way to waste your first turn. So arm thrust goes in and comes off here. And ooh, rough skin's going to do damage every time we hit. So should have thought about that. But nonetheless, we take it down no problem. Rakishi grows to level 15. Dang, it seems like every Pokemon we kill, we get a level. I'm loving it. Call me McDonald's, because ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Oh, man. What a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Hm, sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. So is he calling his partner a sniveling wimp or us? I'm assuming his partner. That's not good for team morale, man. But Rakishi comes in, and now we got to deal with the Zubat here. And I don't know how confident of a battle this is going to be, but we're just going to go ahead and go for the tackle here. Gets a leech life off on us, but tackle is going to over half because of the critical hit. But even without a crit, I think we still take it down here with the tackle. I think got like one HP. Oh, and then that one HP is what it took to hang on. So sadly, the Zubat can no longer hang on even through all those leech lifes and down it goes. Carvana comes in and we're going to go ahead and go for the vital throw because we don't want to take too much ship damage off the rough skin. And even then, it goes for Bite, which we can take pretty well. So Vitothel is going to go ahead and take this thing out. No problemo. Rakishi is a beast. And we go ahead and get to level 16 with it. All right, Joe got 280 for winning. Now what? If we don't get these parts, we're in for it. Or I didn't count on being meddled with some meddling kid. Oh shit, big boss coming in. I came here to see what was taking so long. To snatch some pots. And you simps are. Oh, simps. The first time you ever seen that word. Whoop whoop. Pokemon is in front of everything. And you simps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua. And we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No. You can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not just for the pot. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is magnificent, is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. 
the consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Uh, yeah. You're, ah, okay, you're Joe. Anyway, thanks. That was intense. Thank you for saving us. Oh, yes, I almost forgot you even brought the Devon parts. Joe handed over the Devon goods. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. Did we didn't get an item for that or nothing? All he did was heal up our Pokemon. That's wiggity wiggity wag, G. I wanted some rare candies or something. But oh well, it is what it is. Oh look, we're getting some recognition. Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name is Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe, just maybe, this trainer. Alright, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in, Pokena in our Pokenabs. Uh, no dude, it's Stranger Danger. Register this Scott person in the Pokenab. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So... I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Joe. Alright, sir. Well, more power to you. And also, guys, if you haven't followed yet, go ahead and take the time to leave a follow because we just need 13 more people so we can reach affiliate. And uh, that helps the channel out to make better content. So it helps y'all out to not be bored. So go ahead and click that free follow. And, um, now we just go north. We go on to face our third gym. And we can also level up our lower level Pokemon now. So let's get her done. Oh, here comes the professor. Oh, Joe, imagine seeing you here. And where might maybe? I don't fucking know. Oh, I see. You two are running separate. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes, I heard that your Pokenav had a match call system installed. Well, then I should register you in my Pokenav as well. Th that way, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex anytime. All right. So we got the professor in, and he's telling us to keep an eye out for May, which, of course, most people know this next battle is going to be brutal. So we got to be prepared for it. Ha ha ha, I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. When two Pokemon help each other, you will see a more adorable sight. All right, so a little background history, if y'all didn't know. Um, this generation was the first generation to introduce double battles. So they are all about double battles in this game. Uh, helping hand, all the support moves. They'd like to show them off. So that's why you see a bunch of these crazy people. Like, oh yeah, look at my Plusle and my Minus. They are an amazing pair. It's like, no, they're not. So they both uh, help in hand each other, which is hilarious. But uh, Mudslap goes off into Plusle, and the accuracy falls, but they both have orange berries, so that's going to be interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and Vital Throw and Mudslap into Mining. And I believe Helping Hand adds plus one priority to whatever move you chose. So I think it helps like slower Pokemon go a little bit faster and it boosts their attack for sure. So it's just one of those things. But thanks to the double attack, we could take out Mining. But now Plusle comes in. 
But let's go ahead and double into this plus one and try to get uh, a knockout here as well. So both plus will go for a quick attack, but that does nothing to our team. And uh, that plus will, I believe, should go down no problem. Yep, there we go. And that was one of the main things for everyone in double battles in Gen 3. You just double into one Pokemon, and there you go. That's why uh, the move Protect is so annoying, because if you, if, you, uh, if you misjudge it and go for it, it's not a good thing. Not at all, <laughs> by far. Because then you double into one, and then you get to take an attack from the other. If, unless it went for a support move, but normally when it goes for Protect, it doesn't go for a support move. It's going to go for a hit. And of course the mining lives, so we're going to go ahead and attack one of each. And of course, as you can see, they're just both helping handing each other. Uh, I think it's because of their abilities they pair, so they, they feel like they should help. And then the AI just does that anyway. Realistically, they should both be attacking. But here we go, Pepper gets a level, Plusle misses its attack, Pepper uses Mud Slap, gets a critical hit, which is amazing. And then Rakishi's going to finish it off with a Vital Throw. So Rakishi goes to level 17, does Pepper get another level? No, it doesn't, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, at least we're getting something. So let's go ahead and move on to these battles over here. Oh, we don't have our Pokemon right now, but at least we can do some battles. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and go for the tackle here. Oh, sleepy and yeah, not going to happen. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the Shroomus, get rid of, get rid of the Roselia. So Natsu is now level 18. Rakishi is level 17. Let's go ahead and get Pepper up there. Ah, excuse me. All right, uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and get some mud slaps off. And we're actually going to switch out Rakishi because it's asleep. Can't do nothing. So Sticks is going to come in. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we try to get the kill on Plusle. And finally, Plusle goes down. Sticks gets to level 18. We have one more Mud Slap. And let's go ahead and try to get the kill on mine in here. But it doesn't do enough. So we both hit there. And we finally do get the kill. We are level 12 now. Oh, and we accidentally get into another battle. But uh, this is manageable, I believe. It's only a Skitty. Let's go ahead and just headbutt it to death. Certainly ain't going to do much to us. Uh, unless we keep getting parried. But uh, let's go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center. No reason not to. Take the time and do that. But everyone in the chat, go ahead and leave me your favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. My favorite Gen 3 Pokemon is Aggron. I mean, just aesthetically... Mostly, I mean, you can't, it's not real competitively, bleh, competitively viable in my eyes. Mostly because if you have a four times weakness, most of the time it's not a great thing to have, especially since I already have my favorite who's Charizard with four time weakness. I don't want two Pokemon with four time weakness, but um, at least Agron would complement Charizard in the fact that it can resist Charizard's four time weakness, but then it's four time weak to ground, so it's just like. Not the best combination, but it's something. And uh, Pepper is holding her own against those water type Pokemon. Even with being rock type and all. Alright, so basically he's like, oh yeah, this is still 103 if uh, you surf over there. 
And let's go ahead and get our cut Pokemon over here. So we can do a few more battles and get some items or berries mostly. And we'll put a uh, speed in the box for now. Just until we do those few battles up there. And then we'll for sure get her back on the team whenever we battle uh what do you what's her name? May. There we go. I knew it'd come to me eventually. Alright, let's go ahead and go for the mud slap over there. Our Makuhi is gonna take on their Makuhita. Oh, and Pepper goes down because I'm retard and fighting type moves are very super effective against Rock and steel. Ah, oh, so we lose our first Pokemon, but now we get win in here. All right, we're gonna helping hand, and we're gonna go for the arm thrust. So down that thing goes, helping hand again, arm thrust, and there we go. <laughs> That's depressing. I was just talking about how Agron is my favorite Pokemon in Gen Three, and I'm not even gonna get to use it. Because I think that's the only place you can get it other than Victory Road. And by Victory Road, I'm not going to want to use that thing. Maybe. Depends on the levels. I might want to grind. Who knows? But as of right now, we got to go put him back in the box. And that's a Pokemon I really wanted to level up in the in the thing over here. Oh well, it is what it is. And I wish I would stop wearing that grass patch. So let's go ahead and put speed back in the team. Goodbye, Pepper. Sorry. Uh, Tony was the one that died. But in, in our Nuzlocke, it's you. Um, Let's see. So we got normal flying. We'll have fire flying soon. We have grass. We have electric. We have fire uh, fighting. Sorry. My allergies are acting up. Um, I think we'll save that last spot for a tentacle. Because I really want to use tentacruel in this one. But I'd much rather use an aggron. But, you know, like I said, it happened. So let's go ahead and go in here. So the key to this house is wherever you see the shining light as soon as you walk in. That's where uh, this guy is hiding, Mr. Baldy McGee. And each time you go in this house, the battles get harder. So basically, once after each gym, are you to come in here. And how this works is... Um, Ooh, that's going to be disgusting. Yep. So basically in here is uh, you have a few Pokemon you can battle. And then uh, you're looking through the maze to find the scroll to access the secret door. And then once you do that, you go to a secret room and he's like, oh my God, it took me forever to do the puzzle because the puzzle. And then uh, he'll be like, all right, cool. You completed it. You deserve this reward. And that's what happens. And we got our orange mail. We got Trump? No, we got our orange mail. <laughs> All right, now we got Skitty over here. We're going to go ahead and just a quick attack. Because, I mean, what else can we do? Well, we're going to switch out. Because it just attracted us. And that's that's annoying to deal with. And, of course, we fall asleep. And attract, but arm thrust goes through because no thoughts, no thoughts allowed. Now we're gonna go back to Natsu here so we can get our uh, Ember off, and of course we uh, he switches to Meryl. So let's go back to Rakishi here. Arm thrust this thing to death if possible. And it goes down. Shumis is coming back out, but at this point we can just tackle it and it dies. So all EXP goes to Rakishi, which is nice. 
All right, now we're gonna come this way. Uh, our Pokemon are fine. All right, Wynn is here. And he can take a hit. So let's just go ahead and keep going quick attack. Ooh, I don't want to risk a miss. Let's go ahead and go sticks. And down that thing goes. And uh, we're going to go win just to get the EXP, but we're going to switch right back out. Go over our Kishi. And arm thrust this thing to death. And win gets to level 14. Oh man, I did I not push A on the scroll? Alright, now we memorize the scroll. And now we can do the thing here. And back out we go. Ah! You made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant all those trees. You're almost my equal in greatness. By one, two, three, four, five, six. Places. Fine. You have earned my re you've earned this reward. Obtained rare candy. Beautiful. Scrub that smug smirk from your face. It was much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. Well, alrighty then, Trickmaster Sir. So if you come back out and go back in, you can do the next one. Uh, I don't know if we're ready for the next one, but we definitely need to heal. Because the next one, of course, is going to follow the theme of each gym. Depending on which HM you get for each gym. Second one is Flash. So Flash is what we'll be working with here. One second, guys. I got to blow my nose. All right, I muted that, so none of y'all should have heard that. And if you did, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and see what happens here. So the next time I use this trick and that and that scheme and the ruses. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it's you. I'm in the midst of devising new tricky challenges. It's not too much to ask for a bit more time for me to think, is it? You wouldn't begrudge me that come back in a little while okay so i guess we got to give him time so i guess all right so route 110 i believe that's still this route lakeport city route 110 okay so we got our encounter here it's plusle So let's go ahead and hurry up and get past this guy because the next battle is going to be insane in the mid. Oh, that's that's a low blow. That's a low blow. Why would you just show us an Aaron like that? You know what we just lost? All right, so Electric's coming in. We're going to go ahead and go to win. Then we'll go to Sticks. And we're just going to go ahead and quick attack. Twice. We did get static, but, you know, quick attack makes us go first no matter what. So that's good. Now we can go ahead and get a paralyzed heal on. And then get a potion on, on Rakishi. And we're going to go speed first. This battle is not to be taken lightly, guys. Uh... This is where a lot of Nuzlocke's end. So, again, 
Do not take this battle lightly. Her Pokemon are all like level 18. Go in full force, balls to the wall, ready to attack and knock everything out. Hi, Joe. Long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So how about a little battle? <laughs> you got it, May. Pokemon trainer May would like to battle. And then she sends out her Wingle. But I am speed. Well, if Plusle had a freaking electric move, this would have been a good start. But, you know. I don't think it gets us to like level 18. Well, but we change quick attacks. We swap. Sw we swap quick attacks. And uh, ours does a lot more than hers. So Wingle's going to go down here. So her water flying Pokemon goes down. Speed gets level 20. And we should be evolving after this battle. We're going to go ahead and stay in here. And we're going to go ahead and take on this Lombre with a... Well, first, let's heal. I don't want to risk uh, losing a Pokemon that's about to evolve. All right, she goes Nature's Power. It turns into Swift. Swift don't miss. And we take that rather well. So we can go ahead and go for our wing attack here. And Lombre goes down no problem. All right, so Charmeleon's coming in now because, oh, shoot. Time to do it. Charmeleon versus Charmeleon. Ours is adamant about winning, though. Level 20. All right, smoke screen time. Oh, clever move. She's going for the same tactic. Oh, but we miss our smoke screen. Now she's going for growl, which is annoying, but you know, it's what it is. We go for our smoke screen and it goes ahead and takes effect. Now let's go ahead and switch to Rakishi here. Ooh, Rakishi's almost level 19. But she goes for the smoke screen again, knowing that we were gonna switch, I guess. And now we can go ahead and go for the arm thrust here. Two smoke screen. She must not have an attacking move in her body. Critical hit on the first one. No crit on the second one. No crit on the third. And look at that Charmeleon. Bulky bitch. Just taking all the hits. Oh, now it goes for the growl. We're going for the vital throw here. So let's see how much this does after growl miss. Oh, no. It's almost there. Charmeleon goes for the Ember, but misses due to our smoke screen, which is great. And Vital throws crits here and takes down the Charmeleon. Crit would have been nice on the last turn. But I guess, you know, RNG can only do so much. Uh, fake Out is going to be taught to us. And we're going to go ahead and for sure take it over Tackle. Alright, Natsu gets some EXP, but doesn't level up. Yikes, you're better than I expected. Joe gets $1,200 for winning. Man, you're, you're loaded. Joe, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. This is for me. Obtain the item finder. Joe puts the item finder in the key bag. This is an item finder. Try it out where you think there's items, but you can't see. All right, uh, see you later. I'm going to show off my bike that you don't have. Okay, you douche. Um, Poochian is there. Let's go ahead and take on these battles one by one. And I did not mean to lead speed. I mean, you're already high enough level as it is. So we're going to go to win. Go Natsu and Ember. Ooh, Ember did not do enough. So we got to add in a scratch attack, but you know, it's fine. Now we're going to take on the Metalhead guy and uh, go to win. And try to take this thing down ourselves. And down it goes, no problem. After all those howls that could have fucked us up. But Voltorb comes in here. And now we're going to go to Natsu. Ooh. 
Good thing it didn't keep going for Sonic. Sonic Boom. And uh, two Thunder Waves make that battle last longer than it needed to, but we still got through. Let's go ahead and look for our berries here. And we do not. Oh, we do have a cherry bear. I say, how do we not have a cherry bear? But we can go ahead and unparalyze our two Pokemon, which is dumb that electric Pokemon are paired still in Gen 3, but you know it is what it is. So let's go ahead and move on to our next battle here. Not that. Not wild battles, guys. We're trying to get to trainer battles. All right. Abra's on the other side of the field. We're going to go ahead and go for a quick attack. Doesn't do anywhere near enough. What kind of hidden power is this? Does nothing, so it's neutral to us. So as long as it wasn't ground, we're fine. All right. Time to take this Pokeball after the electric girl tries to battle us here. So we're going to go ahead and go to not to pair it again and confuse. Okay. Well, I guess we got to switch to our Kishi now and that's really going to cost us some EXP points. But there's only so much you can do about that, I guess. All right. Gulpin is here. I've actually used Gulpin. I really like Gulpin in game. Gulpin is a really good mod and you cannot convince me otherwise. The nab berries, the nab berries. I'm gonna na nab all these berries, and then uh, the blind old man's gonna. No, I guess I, I guess not. I thought he's gonna give me potions, but he didn't. Oh, and I'm really dumb. I forgot to get a certain item in Slateport City, but either way, we're gonna make our way back, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and look up the levels for gen the third gym. Mm, let's see. So his max level is 24. We got to get our Pokemon to at least 22, 23. So you guessed it. Grinding montage. Oh, here we go. Now this is a good time to use it. Grinding montage. <laughs> Echo. Okay, let's go ahead and look at what we have around us here. Uh, speed we'll switch train you first let's go ahead and come in here talk to this guy get ourselves a bike and of course we're gonna get ourselves the mock bike because it's faster and we don't really need the aggro bike right now okay so no switch training here let's go ahead and uh Thunderwave Zigzagoon and Fake Out Roselia. Another great uh, double battle move. All right, so Headbutt does come off. It does a decent amount of damage, but nothing to write home about. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take out this Roselia here because that's the bigger threat, in my opinion. Roselia missed her Thunder Spore. I mean, Electric Spore. I mean, Stun Spore. Jesus Christ, I could not think of the name. So that's not too big of a problem. And Zigzagoon is paralyzed, so that thing's not going to be an issue after this turn. We're going to go ahead and go for the Arm Thrust here. Quick Attack into Roselia goes down, and Zigzagoon should go down as well. Okay, Trumas comes in now, Arm Thrust goes off into Zigzagoon, and Zigzagoon is a Pokemon from the distant past, because he is out of here.
All right, so we get an Aeron on the field. Now we're going to go for the Thunder Wave on the Shroomish, and we're going to go ahead and arm thrust the Aeron to get that thing out of here. Hopefully we don't have to deal with too much status from the Shroomish anymore. But Aeron's for sure going down. Alright, just sit there and be paralyzed, Shroomish. Whew, excuse me. Thank you very much. Now we can go ahead and quick attack into uh, Electrike here and Vital Throw the Electrike as well to make sure we get the kill. Electrike goes for how? And we're going to throw it all the way across the room. Just like that Shroomish's trainer wants to throw her DS across the room because that's two paras in a row. Down goes, uh, what's his name over there? And we get to level 20. So beautiful, beautiful turns here. Shroomish is paralyzed for a third time in a row. And Vital Throw is going to do a decent chunk. Oh, it takes it out. I did not expect that. But we do get effects board as per usual with another para. And with one Pokemon left, this could be detrimental. Quick attack for us. And we're going to go ahead and arm thrust. Ooh, that Roselia is setting up. And of course, Rakishi can't move. So we're going to go quick attack and vital throw. And that Roselia just keeps setting up. But all that setup was all for naught because it goes down to a vital throw. Rakishi is feeling very proud of himself right now. So she's sniffing the air. Trying to play off like she's not crying, but we all know deep down inside, she is crying her eyes out. And also, guys, I'd like to remind everybody that we only need 13 more followers to reach our goal of 50. So if y'all can spread the word, or if you haven't yourself followed, go ahead and push that button. We can reach our goal even sooner, and we can get to uh, making content even better. <laughs> As we keep going along. Alright. So we have not to and win up front. No. Oh, she's not a battler. But you are. Let's go ahead and go to not to. Of course. Of course. A horse of course. If you see Magnemite. Turn one is going to be super freaking Sonic. Oh my god. I fucking hate that move. Okay, super potion it is, because uh, Natsu's not dying here. I don't give a damn. Stop hurting yourself in confusion, you dumbass. Alright, so Wynn goes to uh, level 17. Wismer comes in, so we're going to go Rakishi. Don't know what that was, but we're going to go ahead and go for the fake out and arm thrust. For the win! All right, now we got a tentacle here. Um, Thunder wave it. Go to sticks. And, uh, ooh, nope, that's not a good idea. Just go to not to. Scratch it to death. Everyone gets some nice EXP and also get a heart scale. Now we're moving on back. Moving on back. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah. So like I said, we got to get all our Pokemon to level, uh, level 23 at least. Well, 22, 23. As soon as possible. Uh, Wally wants to be a trainer already, but his uncle says he's not ready. Wally's like, yes, I am. I could beat Joe. And it's like, nah, bro, you can't. Oh, and that was almost a crucial miss there for us. So it's supposed to be a quick, easy battle. Uh, Minin chooses to be confused. Oh, we miss a quick attack as well. And get confused again by confusion. Oh, you can't afford to hurt yourself. But we miss again. What the fuck is going on? All right, that's getting really fucking annoying. 
Can you, can you, oh my god. Can you fucking hit your goddamn move? Wow. Okay. Wynn's about to go in the fucking box. He keeps that shit up. But we finally beat the Rolts. And uh, Scott's like, oh, you smacked that kid and ruined his hopes and dreams. Good job. I was like, thanks, Scott. Glad I'm going, no, glad what I'm doing isn't going unnoticed. Well, let's go ahead and come this way. Uh, Rock Smash, of course. So, if you don't know, guys, get your Rock Smash TM from this guy here. And then we're going to make our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're homebound. And this is where the daycare is. But most importantly, our next encounter. What do we get here? It's an Odish. All right, we do some quick attacks and it's parried. We can go ahead and catch it now. And Oddish is caught, and we're going to go ahead and nickname it Mary Jane. Because it is the weed Pokemon. It's almost 420. It's almost 420, guys. Better stock up. Coming fast. Mary Jane in the box. Getting really hot. I don't know. I'm not a rapper. Do I look like a rapper to you? I don't even look like a rapper to me. Oh, great. So we got the uh, breeder lady that we can knock out pretty easily. <laughs> I thought, but I guess not. Uh, she got bulky Pokemon only. Thickums only. Wynn is plowing through this team, but we're going to go ahead and switch out. Go to Shroomish. Six takes that out, no problem. Notch is going to take this thing out, no problem. All right, Skitty, but we can take those out with quick attacks. Even though we are infatuated. Oh, my gosh. Wynn, can you, can you snap out of it? Oh, boy. This Pokemon is going to be the death of me. I'm going to be... I'm going to throw my controller because of this thing. Use a fucking move. Jesus Christ. Thank you. <laughs> well, there we go. There you have it. We we did that one. Alright, and that should be enough of the grinding, really. I mean, we still got a few more battles to do. But let's go ahead and see what we can get done over here. Oh, nothing, really. Verdenderf Town, really the only purpose is to show it's Wally's living spot now. Do this thing and do this tournament here. Which is actually an interesting one because I think it's uh, it's one of the only ones where you just throw your Pokemon out and it, uh, it does its moves by itself. So how well is your Pokemon trained? Alright, so if you walk up here, you can find the black glasses, and then this guy comes over. Or I guess not. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those glasses. May I see them for a second? Hmm. These are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. And then he leaves. Dude, they're on your face. You're wearing glasses on your face. But, whatever. Then we get an HP up, and we're good to get out of this little area. Then if we walk this way, we get into a wild encounter battle. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go to sticks here. Magnitude. It must not have been a good one, because we lived it. Sticks is just going to run through this team with Absorb. Oh, except this Machop. And it kind of feels weird to have our starter not be our highest level Pokemon. 
either of our starters really but it is fine let's go ahead and get this item we can't do the rock smash thing yet because we haven't got our gym badge but you know it is what it is and of course Wismer's in here all right let's go ahead and heal up and do another quick grinding montage and you can get a repel there that's hidden you can get this thing that's here and nothing here it's just i don't know why they did that to tease you to try to make you use your item finder but it's nothing all right so dust ox comes in all right natsu finally gets the job done uh we learned rage but we're not gonna keep it and then uh I really wish we had an electric type move on this thing, but we don't. All right, so we switch in. We get the ember off. Almost kill it with one hit. But when finally gets it. Yes, spark, baby. You are the spark of my life. So now we finally have an electric type move on our electric type Pokemon. And even though it's normally a physical move, in this game it's special. So, ooh, look at that beauty. Then quick attack not to waste all our sparks. And Doduo goes down no problem thanks to our spark. Ooh, we got a spark in our eye. And then we get a revive that we can sell later because this is a Nuzlocke and we cannot use them. Go ahead and go for spark again. Uh, detect. That's annoying. Makes us uh, use another turn. Oh, and this one's all, so with the Doduo as well. And Wynn is also level 20. So all of our Pokemon that are, you know, worth it are level 20 already. Oh, aside from Sticks. Sticks, you know what, man? Let me help you out. You're working too hard to be so low level. So now Sticks is level 20, caught up with the rest of them. And we're just going to go ahead and keep them in run through everything to the best of our ability really and uh remember level 23 is the goal level and there's just enough people to do it all right we're gonna switch out to win Ooh, that was interesting pursuit went off but not enough to knock us out but jesus that's a that's da double damage right there But the wee pair berries, we can get no problem. We still have those two girls to battle. But they won't take long. Oh, wait. Did we battle them already? Oh, no. We got to be right in front of their face. So, here we have a uh, Makuhita and a Zigzagoon. Let's go ahead and take care of that Makuhita first with Quick Attack and Ember. Uh, this Quick Attack should take it out. And that Ember should do something to this Zigzagoon here. Another quick attack and Ember's fine. And slowly but surely, we tore through all those Pokemon. There's still one more place to grind a little bit. Then after that, we're done with the speed up and we can take on the gym. <laughs> so, again guys, very sorry about the speed up button, but I don't want to spend too long going through all these unnecessary battles. And, uh, you know what? Let's actually look into some TMs real quick. So, Rock Tomb can go to Rakishi or Styx. Mm. Honestly, Rakishi is going to make better use of it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Focus Energy. And learn Rock Tomb. Uh, Thief. Uh... I'm going to teach it to speed to hit ghost type. Well, I mean, we have wing attack, so I guess it's not really necessary. So let's see who gets bulk up. Obviously, Rakishi. And we're going to teach it that. Let's go ahead and switch out. Uh, 
I mean, we aren't typically slower. I guess let's go ahead and get rid of uh, arm thrust. And then uh, Flash can go to... Oh, Zigzagoon can't learn it. Yikes. Well, it learns Rock Smash, so... Here you are, HM Slave. And we get a potion from it, so that's wonderful. And I didn't do what I was going to do, and that was... Uh, the 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 Mac bike register it so we can use it anytime. All right, so we're gonna have to get used to this bike so we don't be crashing in all over the place. Oh, and there's a trainer down here. So we can take take that thing down no problem at all. And this is where you can get the uh, manectrite I I think. Or the Mawal light somewhere around there in uh, the Alpha Sapphire playthrough. So there's that. And then uh, we're gonna be crashing into people because we want to uh, we want to battle everybody. Ooh, that 20 damage. All right, Rakishi's gonna come in here. Ooh, no, 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 no. Whoa, what the fuck? Shoddy Pops. Jesus Christ. That is doing damage. Vital throw. So Magnemite goes Thundershock. Thank you for snapping out of confusion. Magnemite goes down. Dude, you can't do that to me. You're making, you're making my heart hurt. All right, let's go ahead and get a, another Sodi Pop for the boys. Pop a Coke for the boys. Because they almost fainted. Holy shit, that was scary as fuck. I don't want to be in a rut. No, 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 no. Don't make me lose my mind. All right, I'm just going to lead Rakishi because honestly, that's, that's the Pokemon that should be up front anyway. I need him or not to. But I think Rakishi can make better use of fighting these things than uh, not to. Alright, there we go. Heal up again. Oh god, Rydell. The Rydell chick. I think that was unnecessary text, honestly. That's, like, why? Why make them yell the name 80 times? It's not, it's not cool. Not cool, man. You could have done something better. You could have done something better. Goodbye, Magnemite. Second Magnemite. And Voltorb now. Tearing through these Pokemon. Yeah, we're not learning Whirlwind. We're just going to keep taking Pokemon out. Woohoo! We're almost at the level we need for this guy. Shut up, lady. I don't need your approval. Don't woman explain me. Okay. Now we can heal. Get our item that we so desperately need. And for those of you who don't know, buy Harbor Mail. You need a Harbor Mill uh, to get the coin case. So make sure you get it. Or you're going to have to backtrack all the way like I did. And you'll get it eventually. But you're going to need it regardless. So just get it. No. 
And you have to be on a bike before you even get here, so. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at these skills. Look at these skills. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I fucked up. You know what? Let's for fun. Let's see. Let's see how we do. All right, y'all ready? One, two, three. Go. Oh, fucked up already. Fucked up already. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Ooh. Eight collisions. 17.45 seconds. We need some help. We need some help. Look at this. Watch. Watch. I'm going to be fine going this way. Oh, see, only two crashes. Let's do this again. Oh, wait. I think I got to go in here to reset it. All right. No. I think I. All right, go. Oh, no. No. Shit. No, that's two. Damn. Ah, oh, you fucker. Six times, 14 seconds. Your technique is remarkable. I suggest you speed up a little bit while still avoiding collisions. No shit. All right, one more time. Third time's a charm. Let's do this. See, no pressure, and we're good to go. Oh, fuck you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go. Ooh. Oh shit! Already. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Oh well. I mean, we, we we tried our best. We did our best. And it wasn't good enough. Per usual. But, oh my god, lady. Get out of the god dang way. But either way, we're going to beat this gym. Tell you that right now. I'll tell you what. Alright guys, so if you want the Pokemon coin case, come to this lady. She'll be like, oh, Harbor Mail, gimme. And then uh, you give her the mail. Which is fraud, by the way. Mail fraud. You can't give someone else's mail to this lady. But you did it anyway. And then uh, she'll give you the coin case as a bribe. And you can never go to the cops because you're an accessory. Dang, she wants a little excitement in her life. Her husband must be boring. All right, let's see what you got, Aroma Lady Rosalie. Ooh. Vital throw. I should have faked out turn one. I'm, I'm dumb. This battle would have been over, and I wouldn't have had to waste the potion, but it is what it is. One more level for you, and then you're caught up. Again, fake out first, and then you wouldn't be poisoned. Okay. Well, we gotta go heal now. Kill my Pokemon, Nurse Joy. I don't want them to die. Oh, guys, the, there's this cool thing with the mixer. Watch. I'm going to change my voice. It's here. It's, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Watch. All right. Um, Y'all should hear my voice differently. Trust me. I cannot make this voice. I sound like a little kid or a girl. I can't tell. I just know my voice has changed now because of the mixer. And it is dope. But, if that doesn't impress you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if that doesn't impress you, here's another one. Okay, here we go. See, now I really don't sound like myself. And, uh, yeah, this it's like cool. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But this voice is just weird. I, I can hear myself talking through it, 
And it's just like, why? Why does the mixture give me this voice? <laughs> That's how I sounded as a kid. I don't think so. Uh, and welcome, Nightwing. Thank you for enjoying the stream. But, uh, all right. There's two more voices, too. That's how it sounded if I was black. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> but here's the next voice. Hello, everybody. I'm Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, is there a song anyone wants me to sing? Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ching, ching, walla, walla, bing, bing. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ching, 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 walla, bing, bing. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with these voices. They're hilarious. But, uh, uh, it, it goes from drastic this way to drastic the other way. Just watch. Alright guys, here we go. <laughs> and uh, this makes my voice sound really, really low. And dear God, is this hilarious. It's contagious too, because now that it's deeper, it makes you feel like you are this, this, this. And it's like you don't have to, because your voice is already deeper, because it's thing. And then uh, it also makes you kind of want to talk slow, like in slow motion. And then I'm back. Ah, that shit's fun. I like it. I'm gonna have fun with that from now on. Might might be a thing. Might be a thing now. Have some character development. Start off my journey with the kid voice. Or the Alvin and the Chipmunk voice. Go two badges, start with the kid voice, and then work my way up all the way until I'm at the champion. I have the deep voice. But now we have a new mo and I don't know why I didn't switch. Got too excited with the voices. But we'll go ahead and do go for the fake out here. And then get the rock too, ma. And down goes Numa, no problem. All right, what's next? Nothing. All right, so that was very important EXP. That should have went to someone else, but it didn't. So let's go ahead and go to this guy over here. So Tello is in the lead. <laughs> And I do not want to do that house yet because we can lose a Pokemon that way. Um, let's go ahead and switch not to over there. So not to and tail Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's go ahead and ember that and switch out two sticks. So let's go ahead and ember the electric again. And Fury Cutter the Met Metatite, it'll be neutral. We're going to double the Voltorb, because that's the threat. Alright, Voltorb goes down. Not too good. Not too going to finish this thing off while I heal up sticks. Not while I pick up sticks, while I heal up sticks. And for some reason, we missed. So, it looks like we get to go Pursuit. Ooh, we should have done that from the beginning. All right, Ember in Pursuit. Come off, not enough. Scratch in Pursuit. And Detect, that's what happened. But Styx is level 22 now. Sorry, hold on. God, it is not fun to be me. 
hate allergies so much. But let's go ahead and battle this kid. Down he goes, gulping. Ooh. That gulping took forever to take down. Now I'm actually gonna go buy some potions and stuff because I've been slacking on that. I don't wanna I don't wanna end up losing because I didn't buy enough potion. So super potion, we're gonna go ahead and go with 19. Great ball. Let's go ahead and get 16 more. Antidote, one more. Paralyzed, three. Awakening, three. Because you never know. And you know what? Let's go ahead and buy a couple of special defenses. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess in Gen 3, they didn't have the defensive ones. They just had the offensive ones. Okay. And sorry, guys. I'm burping and sneezing. It's gross to be me sometimes. But it is what it is. That's all I can say. Now let's go ahead and battle this guy. Who has an Illumise. One of my almost favorite Pokemon. Oh, did I not heal? Not to. Okay. Honestly, I gotta say, Bulby. One of the best Gen 3 Pokemon ever ever made well I have to be specific when it has prankster ability if it doesn't have prankster ability it sucks it outright sucks it is what it is it's exactly what everyone thinks of it but with prankster that mon is a fucking monster and you cannot convince me otherwise People were making fun of me on one uh, <laughs> on one of the things, uh, the Pokey Dippies podcast, because I brought it and I was like, "Oh, it's a badass mon." They're like, "Oh yeah, it's so cool. That's why it died in one hit." It wasn't supposed to die in one hit though. It just happened to be in front of a Haxorus when I thought it was gonna uh, Dragon Dance, and it didn't. So it was just uh, what do you call? It was just an important, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate turn of events there. So there's not really much you can do about that. Whoa. In the new games, there's a lot more maze to go. But with this, I mean, so this. All right, guys. Uh, most of our team is level 23, at least the usable Pokemon on our teams. So I think it's gym number three time. Let's go ahead and lead off with Rakishi here. And here we go, guys. Gym number three. Watson. I've given up on my plans to convert the city I have. And so, I put my time into making door traps on my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you got past all my rigged doors. <laughs> now, that is amusing. Then, I, Watson, the leader of Marville Gym, shall electrify you. <laughs> Looks like he's been shocked a couple of times with that hairdo. All right, Alfalfa, come on, bring it on, but not too much. Calm down. All right, so first up, we got to deal with a Voltorb. Fake out is what's in store for it, and that didn't do much at all. Well, let's go ahead and go for the vital throw here. It goes for spark, though, so it does get off an attack. I thought to go for charge. 
but vital throw ooh brings it low but not quite to where we needed it to and uh we can't risk taking another spark so we got to go to sticks here and watch and use the super potion as we will as well so let's go ahead and get a super potion off on rakishi Spark comes off, but we resist that. No problem. And we're going to go ahead and go for Pursuit. It's our strongest move, I believe. Alright, so Spark comes off again. And let's actually see how much Absorb does. Because we're not resisted. And does a decent chunk. And we get health back with it as well. So I think we'll be sticking with that. Of course, Shockwave is coming off. It doesn't miss. So, that's one thing he doesn't have to worry about. But, uh, we'll keep absorbing here to get some HP back every time. Plus, doing some decent damage. Let's go ahead and get this absorb. Oh, man, it's not doing anything anymore. Self-destruct. No! Styx is gonna go down that sucks dude i fucking hate when that shit happens so we lose our starter because he's a bitch this is basically what happened <sighs> so natsu comes out uh, electric is here and we go for an ember attack and ember comes off nicely So attack is halved, so uh, the Howl doesn't do much. We go for another Ember. Hopefully, he goes for another Howl. Goes for Shockwave. So, Howl didn't help it at all. This is going based off a special attack, which doesn't do too much. And Burn goes ahead and takes that thing down. So, not to at least get some uh, HP back there. Uh, Rakishi, though, is at full health, so we're going to go straight there because Magneton is powerful. So with Magneton being as powerful as it is, we're going to go fake out here. And then we're going to Vital Throw now. Supersonic misses, which is great. Vital Throw should... Oh. I was going to say it should take it out, but I guess we're not that strong. Uh, Magneton is bulky, so Shockwave comes off this time around. Almost takes us out from full. That is ridiculous. So Vital Throw finally does the job, and Magneton goes down. So thankfully, we didn't get confused earlier. And now Manectric comes in, and we got to switch to win. Literally. We can't stay in there. All right, so this is really going to be a uh, healing time. So we get to heal Rakishi. He's getting Howls up, but he's a special attacker, so it's not going to matter anyway. We're going to Thunder Wave because we can do that in Gen 3. And it doesn't get Lightning Rise ability, I don't think. So, pretty safe there. Um, let's go ahead and heal up uh, not too as well. I mean, not to say Manectric doesn't get physical moves, because it does. But uh, I think the only thing you can get is, like, quick attack. So, we're going to go ahead and spark. Oh, as you can see, that quick attack does a lot of damage. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to Ziggy here and sacrifice our HM Slave. I mean, it's an HM Slave, so I'm not too worried about it. <coughs> so now officially another death. So that's three total so far. Now we have Fake Out Ability. Let's do that. 
That does nothing. All right, let's go ahead and go for the vital throw. Thunder Wave comes off. We are guts, though. So that kind of helps out in our favor. Ooh, it almost takes down Manectric, but it does have a berry. At least this will not let him uh, heal. Manectric can't move. Vital throw goes off. Clutch it, Rakishi. Oh, stays in the red. He's going to heal up. Uh, I should have went bulk up. I don't know why I didn't. But, uh, shit, we're here. Well, vital throw again. And then we're going to vital throw for the win. Hopefully, Shockwave don't take us out. Magnetric almost did. I mean, Magneton almost took us out. Oh, and we're living. And we don't get parried. And we're good. We take down the Magnetric and we beat it. Oh, God, that feels so good. I'll tell you what. Leader Watson is defeated, and that couldn't have ended any better because that was an exciting battle. And look at that, Rakishi is evolving even better. And we have the mighty Hariyama. Rakishi. So you're saying if we got a 24, we could have potentially just swept the whole gym and not lost any Pokemon? Fantastic. Well, Joe receives the Dynamo badge from Watson. We can now use Rock Smash outside of battle. And we officially get Shockwave for our mining. Shockwave is definitely going to mine in, and let's go ahead and get out of this godforsaken gym because we have to deposit our starter in the PC. All right, so sadly, um, I mean, Rakishi's good. Sticks our starter. You are now in the death box. As well as Ziggy, you are in the death box. We are going to add Lotad to the squad because it's grass and water. So I might not use Tentacruel. Might still. Who knows? And then so we'll have Fighting... Flying, water, grass, fire, uh, electric. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a spoink later on. Add a psychic type to our squad. Oof. Well, after that, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream there. I know it's been a while since we played this. But, uh, we just lost a lot of Pokemon. We did two gyms. We completed a lot of stuff. We did some story. And, uh, yeah, that took a lot out of me right there. <laughs> but thank you guys. And as you can tell, my allergies are just being horrendous. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out Poke Dippies. Uh, check me out on Facebook. And also check out the YouTube channel where all these uh, recordings go after they disappear from Twitch. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you guys next time.